Who advised you to do this? We are getting advice uh, from nonpartisan professional public servants. Uh, I know that you have met with Jagmeet Singh, but specifically with the Liberals since 2019, you've met uh, with them, whether it's the PMO staff, Minister Medicino, Minister Blair, or uh, Minister Freeland. In fact, uh, since 2019, it's been 22 times. Today. Um, it's my understanding that you've been, uh, this, you, you as a group have been to committee uh, a few times now, is that correct? I see nodding. Okay, and you have met with the Liberal government on several occasions over the last number of years, is that correct? Maybe I'll take that question. Sure. Thank you for the question. Uh, we've met with um, uh, representatives from many parties, uh, right. including uh, municipal and, f and federal uh, representatives from uh, from the NDP government as well as the Liberal government, and we have sought to meet with members of the Conservative government, have, but have as of yet not been successful. Oh, okay. Well, I'm the lead on this file, and I don't believe I've received an invite, but if I have, I'm, I am happy to meet with you anytime. Um, That's good to hear. I know that, absolutely. And uh, I know that you have met with Jagmeet Singh, which is great to see. Um, but specifically with the Liberals since 2019, you've met uh, with them, whether it's the PMO staff, Minister Medicino, Minister Blair, or uh, Minister Freeland, in fact, uh, since 2019, it's been 22 times. Is that correct? That's what I have from the lobbyist registry. I can't verify the number of times. It's true we've been in communication with uh, email communication or for communication with multiple ministers on this file. That is correct. And okay. I am a constituent of Minister Freeland, uh, and I meet with her on uh, various matters uh, while she's been in government. Great. Yeah, thank you. I'm just taking the numbers from the official uh, lobbyist registry, and I appreciate that. And again, the feedback you've provided to this committee is uh, is an important piece of what we're discussing. Uh, but Dr. Ahmed, I did want to ask you about a few things. I, again, I, I know that uh, certainly um, the the doctor, Canadian Doctors for Protections from Guns has met with the, the Liberals 22 times in the last uh, few years, and certainly has appeared at committee before. But I, I did want to ask you about some of the positions you've taken concerning firearms. Uh, on July 6, 2020, you had tweeted out that uh, in favor of banning civilian ownership of guns, you said, uh, honestly, it's the guns, it's the guns, ban civilian ownership of guns. On Jul January 15, yeah, 20... May I answer? Uh, may I'm just, just, just going to finish, and then I'll over to you, okay? And then January 15, 2019, you said no civilians need access to guns on Twitter. On December 18, 2019, you retweeted something from an account called No Guns in Canada. So I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, again, your, your group is, is, uh, has met with Liberal government to advise on policy several times, and the position that you've taken is that no one in Canada should own guns. So would you like to comment on that? Yes, I'd like to correct the record. Please. Um, our, our organization has met with members of different and various parties and continues to seek uh, audience with the Conservative government and would be happy to do so at any time. Our position statement is very clearly articulated on our uh, website. Uh, uh, we uh, support an evidence-informed policy to reduce harm, death, uh, and injury from guns, including uh, legislation to ban the most lethal types Thank of you, weapons. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you very Let much. Me may, may, um, I fin may I finish? I am going to continue. I have a few more questions, but again, I, I appreciate that you've met with Freeland on other I'd issues like, as well, like and you clarify, are a constituent. I'd like to clarify, please, that our organization does not support the banning of civilian ownership of all guns, for the record. So, sorry, you're saying that the group, the group you're representing itself, the policy is not to ban all civilian ownership, it's just your personal opinion? Is that just no, it's not my personal opinion either. It's it's the uh, my my personal opinion and the position of the group is to uh, uh, ban uh, handguns okay. and semi-automatic weapons. Okay. Not so, civilian use of all. Thank weapons. you very much. So what you've tweeted out on sort of three separate occasions, endorsing ban of all civilian owned ownership. You've you don't it's you, a misrepre you it's don't a misrepresentation. That's uh, a misrepresentation. That's just Thank the you. words that you wrote, ma'am, respectfully on Twitter. I read them verbatim, but it's it's fine. Uh, I did note you you have mentioned evidence as well, but there were two studies on your website that you your your gr group has since removed. And again, new studies come, and it's it's fine to add and remove them. But I did note that the two studies that were removed don't actually serve the policy position that you've taken. In fact. 
Uh, one of them in particular mentions that it was talking about suicide and the correlation between firearm restrictions and suicide. Uh, but the study itself that was has now been removed from your website suggests that uh, suicide was not decreased uh, by restrictions of firearms. In fact, unfortunately, as other evidence has shown, suicide, uh, if people want to commit suicide, they will use uh, whatever means that they can. Uh, so I, I did find that interesting that that was removed from your website. And I know you've cited, uh, your group has cited a lot of information. So it's just a bit odd to me. Uh, and then there was another uh, study that you had removed from your website as well that did not support your conclusion. Uh, specific, it said specific laws directed at firearms trafficking, improving child safety, or banning the st uh, military-style assault weapons were not associated with changes in firearm homicide. Okay. The evidence Ms. for Spencer, laws restricting uh, guns, and again, that was removed minutes. from your website. Um, well, thank you, Mr. Chair. I wish I had that. Perfect.